Hi guys, it's Adam. We are live. Um, I'm just going to get the old chat up and then I will stand up and get into the video. So, oh, it's counting down. It's not even saying I'm live yet. I'll have to refresh it. One second, technical difficulties. Right, here we are. We're ready now. I'll flip back onto me. Let's see how many people are watching. One people, one per, one people, one person is watching. Uh, so yeah, I will get on with it. Uh, no one's in the chat yet. Oh no, someone is. Anne is in the chat. Hi Anne. Um, I am a little bit early. Um, I just couldn't be bothered waiting around, basically. Um, Chelsea, hi Ads. Andy, you're live, big boy. <laughs> Southwest Sellers, afternoon Ads. Hi guys. So thank you for joining me. I've uh, got a few bits today. I scheduled this live stream um, basically before I went out today. So I didn't even have anything to show you when I scheduled this live stream. And I thought, if I don't get anything, it's going to be a pretty lousy video. Um, but actually, the reason I did that was to try and sort of help myself in my sourcing. Because I thought that if I've got, you know, if I've got to get something for you guys for this stream, then I'm going to at least get a few items. And I feel, yeah, I did all right. I got a few bits and bobs today. So um, a couple of bits that I'm not so happy about, um, that maybe I paid up for, that I, you know, that I just don't feel are the best profit margins. Um, but that's always the way. Like wh Whether it's a car boot, a, free, uh, a charity shop, um, wherever it is, I feel like I get into this groove and when I'm like, uh, you know, really going for it and in that buying mood and buying here and buying there and everywhere, um, I tend to pick up a few things that I really regret. Um, but to be fair, about 90% of it's great. So can't complain, really. Um, uh, right, there's just a little bit of chat in the chat. Uh, so Phoebe's in the chat. Hi, uh, Resale Road is in there. Um, Chelsea, uh, yeah, I already said Chelsea. Uh, Kaylee. Hi, I'm here. Just got out of the chat shops myself. Darren is in the chat, smart we selling. Um, so yeah, and Chrissy is in the chat. Hi, Chrissy. And watch your selling, which is Sherry. So hi, Sherry. So yeah, anyway, I'll get on with it now. Uh, I'm just going to go in a random order. Actually, you know what I will do? I'll do the clothing first. Yeah, do the clothing first. How about that? So no bolos today, unfortunately, no like, you know, hundred pound items or anything like that. Um, but you know, a good mix of stuff really. So I got these rather funky, they're sort of like faux leather. They're not real leather, you can tell. Um, but they're like these faux leather. Um, let me just get the, let me just get my screen up so I know where I am. Uh, they're like these faux leather, don't worry, you can see that. Oasis anyway, the Oasis, I'll see if I can't get that a bit close to the screen. Oasis, there you go. Um, and I paid a, the grand sum of a pound for those, they were marked down. Don't know whether you can see that very well because of the light. I need to get a bit of a better live streaming setup, to be honest. Um, but yeah, anyway, I paid a pound for them. Um, I don't really know what we're going for, I just took a punt so that then I can just get a bit more comfortable in clothing again. Um, oh no, I'm not going to say that again. Oh God, the time when I said, um, uh, hopefully this time next year I will look better. I will uh, be better in women's clothing or something. I don't even know what it was now, but it was a terrible thing I said. It just sounded ridiculous. Um, but yeah, anyway, I got them. I don't know. I know they're a bread and butter item, so maybe 10, 12, 15 quid, something like that. I don't think we're going to be much more than that. But please do your own research because I'm not any, you know, I don't have any knowledge in clothing. So, yeah, just do your own research on them. But I don't think they're worth a mega, a mega amount of money. Um, next, I saw a while back, Sean had um, a sales update where he showed some neck well he showed one neck shirt that he'd sold and i was amazed that he got like 14 pound plus postage or something for it so i just thought you know what i saw these two neck shirts for two pound each and i thought i'll take a punt on it and then between the three items of clothing you know i've taken a punt at a fiver so it's not terrible um but yeah i got this neck shirt really, really nice condition 
really nice condition to be honest um and as i say it paid two pound but i don't know whether that's going to show up it was marked down don't know whether that should oh yeah i don't know it's, it's just the angle i'm at but yeah two pound for that quite nice We've got 21 people watching now that's awesome um but yeah as i say, i don't know bread and butter item maybe you know if it's a bit of a fail i'm, I'm you know i'm fine with that at least it gives me a bit of knowledge um but certainly i think i can get maybe 10 pounds for that something like that maybe a bit more um but yeah as i say do your own research again because this is not my area of comfortability if that's a word um but yeah so that's that one and then the other one the other one is this blue one let me open it up this blue one really nice one actually this this is pretty cool um Oasis Skinny Faux Leather sold 28. What, you've sold 28 or they've sold for $28 because you're in the US, aren't you? So, or £28. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you mean, but maybe you've sold 28 pairs. Uh, just confirm that anyway. Um, anyway, yeah. So, this one next, uh, like a, I wouldn't say name no i wouldn't say navy blue but sort of blue shirt um maybe it's navy blue but it doesn't look quite dark enough to be navy blue for me um and yeah two quid for that one i don't know whether you're going to be able to see that but yeah so i took a punt on that one so they were like the punts of the day um and then the rest of the stuff i was fairly confident on oh yeah and i got this as well but this wasn't a punt i got this um ben sherman shirt for a pound you know, it's just a fairly basic one. It's a short sleeved one, uh, you know, a fairly basic sort of check design. Um, and I paid a quid for that. And, you know, that's not really a punt. I know I'll get some money for that. And I know that I'll go for some, some money at least. Um, can't get excited selling clothes. I know it, there's good money in them, but just not interested in selling them. That's what I thought. Honestly, that's what I thought. I was like, Oh no, I, I just don't like them. I, I don't want to touch them. They're horrible. I like my video games. Actually, before I did video games, I hated video games. So the the best thing to do, right? If if you're in that mindset of I don't like them, I don't like them, is just pick up a few of them. Maybe you already have Richard. Maybe you picked up some, and you don't, you know you find that you really don't like them, and that's fair enough. Um, but if you haven't even tried them, you really don't know. Um, it's just like with food. I find that the, the, the niches or the genres of reselling are just like trying different foods. And, um, you know, each one you try, you might, you might uh, spit it out with disgust, you know, or maybe another one, another genre, another area of reselling. You might think, oh my God, I wish I had been eating this forever. Or I wish I'd been selling this forever in this case. But yeah, um, I really like clothes. I think they're so, I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to say they're like really easy to deal with, but I find them quite easy to deal with. Um, photography wise, they're not too hard, really. Well, if you've got a mannequin, they are, but like, you know, if you're folding up a shirt or you're just like laying some jeans out on a, uh, you know, on a carpet or a photography area, laying jeans out like that, it's not hard, really. Um, Coats are maybe a little bit harder because when you, when you spread them out, you might, you might not be able to get a great photograph. Um, and as I say, if you've got mannequin, maybe they're not the easiest to deal with. But I, I just, I just love them. I just really do. Uh, trousers are a thing that I really like because I find them so easy. I mean, if you pick them up in good condition, it's the photos are dead easy. Um, if you start to learn your keywords a little bit and the types of words you should be using on your on your um, on your listings, on your titles and stuff, yeah, you can just burn through them really quick. Um, obviously, the measurements were a bit of a hurdle for me and doing all that. And I, when I did, when I first got that Jaeger stuff a few weeks back, because that was only a few weeks back, um, I was having to do all the measurements. And then I was reading the tags and I was thinking, do I put the measurements in off the tags or do I measure them myself and all this sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I slowly sort of worked through that. And now I find them pretty easy, to be fair. Um, here's another pound for you. What's this? What is this chat? What's going on in the chat? Royal blue. That's yeah, uh, Phoebe. That's a uh, that's a good word. Yeah, royal blue. That's the word I'm sort of looking for. Yeah. Um, 
Sorry, twenty-eight dollars. No way. No way have those gone for twenty-eight dollars. That's crazy. I didn't think it would be that much. Oh my god. Well, I'll have to have a look at the UK listings, the sold listings, but God, they've gone for that much. That's pretty cool, because like twenty-eight dollars, that's like eighteen, nineteen, twenty quid, that sort of area, I think. So yeah, that is pretty cool if they've gone for that much. Um not even uh not even got to try them, says Richard about the clothes. Um, get down the gym. If I had a pound every time I saw Darren posting in a live hangout, I'd be a rich man. And then, oh, and then Darren put here's another pound. Right, sorry, I'm I'm behind on the chat here. Um, Linda is in the chat. Hi, Linda. Um, 29 watching now, which is awesome. Uh, so, yeah, that's the clothing anyway. That's all the clothing I got. Um, let me move on to... Oh, yeah, I, I said as well, I was thinking... Uh, basically, another DVD player went out the door yesterday or the day before. Day before, I think Thursday. And I've been really getting low on DVD players and VHS players because they've been selling. But I've not had the car boots there to, to get some because I can usually get you know one every week or one every couple of weeks from a, from a boot sale. You know, if you go early early enough and stuff. And you could even maybe get more than that. And hopefully, I will do this year. Um, but yeah, I, I, but. There's this one charity shop I usually get them from, but we've not really had any in for weeks and weeks and weeks. So I've been selling through them, and I've not been able to get any more electronics and DVD players, VHS players, that sort of stuff. Um, but this week, I finally got a DVD player and uh, something I've sold before. Well, I've sold this item before, but not this brand. Um, and that is a... I may as well stop rambling and actually show you the items. Oh, no, what have I done? Sorry, technical difficulties again. I've scrolled down the page. Right, this is a um, Waltham, uh, and I've heard of that brand before. It's like a cassette recorder thingy, majiggy. I don't know. All I know is I've sold one of these before, but it was a... Oh, uh, I don't know the name of the brand that I sold before, but I got twenty nine ninety nine for it, and I paid three forty nine for this one. Don't know what it's going for, but what I will do, actually, is just quickly look it up now. Because uh, I have got my phone, but it's running out of battery. Um, but it's a Waltham like cassette recorder, I think. Um, and you've got be on the lookout for them because they are worth some money. Not maybe not all brands. I don't know whether all of the brands will be worth something. Obviously, other brands will be worth worth more money. Um, but yeah, they're, they're definitely worth looking out for. Um, and it is a Waltham cassette. Recorder, I believe. I believe that's the name anyway. So I'll just type this in. I'll have a look at the chat. Oh, we've got 33 people. Oh, no, 31 people. Four more people join, please, because then that's like the, the best chat I've had. Now, there's a, a more vintage one here. Looks a little bit older and a little bit maybe more professional on for 39.99. But we'll check solds, see if any. We've got 30 people watching now. Um, check solds. Oh, there's a few uh, vintage. Uh, yeah, there's another one. There's a, there's a different one with a microphone attached, gone for 19 99 plus £6 postage. Um, a few have gone for a bit lower. Another one's gone for £16 plus postage. But as I say, they're slightly different. They're not the exact model. Um, but even if I can get like 15 quid for it, I'm happy from, you know, £3.49, £15 plus postage. From three quid forty nine, I'm happy with that. And the great thing is at that charity shop, everything's pack tested as well, so that's pretty good. Um, obviously, I'll plug it in and just have a test of it myself because I have got, I have got some cassettes lying around actually. Um, it should, yeah, it plays them as well, so that's all right. Anyway, yeah, that's that one. And then I have got this guy's remote, and I'll just flip back. Uh, Cumbrian resellers in the chat, Andy. Hi, Andy. Um, and then I got this thing, which is a Sony. Um, I don't think it's a very desirable one. DVP NS30, uh, and it's got it. Ooh, where's the over? Oh, Paid four pound forty nine for it. I don't know whether you're gonna see that anyway. Four pound forty nine for it. Um, it won't be a mega desirable one. I've not checked this one either, um, but I think maybe 15 20 quid on that something like that it might be a bit higher but 
it's not going to be a mega desirable one, unfortunately. I know it isn't. Um, so that was a Sony um, DVP NS DVP NS thirty. Yeah, you may as well chat among yourselves for a sec. Um, it's coming up now. No uh, DVD player. I'll check back in the chat in a sec. One second. But they're good to pick up. Anything like Sony like that is all right to pick up if you get them fairly cheap. Um, one's gone for 10. Yeah, one's... And it does have its remote, importantly. Ooh, where's the remote? There. Does have its remote. One's gone for £15 plus uh, £5 postage, so £20. Yeah, another one's gone for 15 One's gone for £20 plus postage, so 25 in total. Oh, I can actually show you. So, I, actually, I don't. No, it's not going to. No, it's not going to show up. Um. Anyway, Sony D, DVP NS30 DVD player, twenty pound plus postage, and they're all sort of scattered all over the place. There's some local collection for like a tenner, um, and then there's. I, I think twenty is get twenty pound plus postage is going to be my top end on that. But I'm happy from four pound forty five. You know, that's not too bad. Um. And that is that one. So I will get on to the next stuff. Yeah, 15 to 20. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, it's not, you can just tell. It's like very thin. Um, and it's not one of them really big, bulky Sony ones with all these different dials on. Um, and they would maybe be a bit higher, maybe 30, 40, 50 pound and then plus. Um, it's not always like that, but I've sort of found that with DVD and VHS players. Like the more little things they have on them, the, the more money they make so yeah that's that anyway um right what else have i got i know i shouldn't be picking up plushies but this was a, a play school 1994 I believe, uh, no 1992 uh the loins group uh talking barney now i need to test it don't know whether it'll work or not um but these are like all over the place well I say all over the place, but really what I mean is they've been going like internationally, you know, all over the place, you know, prices all over the place. And some have got pretty good money. Um, and then there's like different versions of it. You know, when you come across like different versions of a, of a similar plush and you're thinking, well, I don't know whether I could achieve that because it's a slightly different variant. Um, so I don't really know where to price this, but I'm, I paid two quid. I paid two pound. Hope you can see that there. Um, and yeah, I'm. I don't know. I mean, maybe fifteen quid, something like that, plus postage. If I have to shift in for a ten plus postage, it's fine because I paid two quid. Um, but yeah, that's that one anyway. And as I say, I need to test it. Uh, oh yeah, Darwin, I've got a uh, add a cheap Scott lead if you have got one. Uh, they tend to help sell it. Yeah, yeah, I know I've got one. I've got a Scarlet lead down there for exactly that purpose. I've also got, um, you know, like the N64 AV cables that are dead cheap on eBay. I've got like loads of them from the GameCubes and N64s that come in. Um, so and I just don't have to keep buying them, you know, if I've not got them with them. Um, so, yeah, I always have stock, stocks and things like that. Um, and it's a, that's good practice, actually, if you're doing a lot of electricals and things like that, have stocks of those sort of stuff, and it can really help. And they're so cheap on eBay. You can get them these wires that are just next to nothing. Um, I bought a new cable for my printer, one of the USB cable printer hookup things, um, and that costs like £1. I think it's like £1.59 delivered, so free postage. It was crazy. Um, anyway, I got these mobs. And these are pretty good, actually. Uh, Battle Morphing Orbs, they are $2.99 paid. Now, there's a very similar list. Basically, when I'm scanning it into eBay, it's coming up with this listing. And I'm not sure whether the listing is exactly the same, but it is very similar. And we're on for, like, 26 quid. I think, personally, that's a bit unrealistic um, for maybe eBay. You know, that sounds like more of an Amazon FBA price to me. Um, I did check Amazon FBA, but they're like 300,000 odd in toys and games. I might send them in. I might do a bit of research on Camel. Um, Camel, 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 if you're not familiar, is 
basically like eBay sold listings, but for Amazon, you can go over to camelcamelcamel.com and you can see like sales history and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I might check Camel for these and see if it's worth sending them in because I think I could get maybe like 25 to 30 on Amazon. Um, but on eBay, I might go sort of 15 quid plus postage, something like that. That sounds more more about right in my eyes and for a three pound cost you know it, it's all right so yeah that's those i got these these beverly hills watches i got these for 9.99 it's a nice little, little pair honestly i don't think they're being worn i'll just check on the uh, one second I'll just click back onto my thing there so you, so i know where they are in this in the screen um but i honestly do not think these have been worn they're really, really nice. I mean, I'll show you what I mean. Look at that. Like, you know, it's not been bent to a person's hand or anything. Um, so, yeah, they, they are really nice. I paid £10 for them. They're £9.99. Um, I can't see any on at the moment. Sold listings. The men's one has seemed to go, like, once or twice for, like, £15. And I don't think I've seen the women's one go. I've seen a similar woman's one go um but i've not seen that exact one obviously it's a nice looking little set that um i'm probably gonna uh, achieve maybe 30 pound plus postage on that set i'm quite comfortable in saying that i do feel like i will achieve that two watches in there you know 15 pound a watch and i think that is fairly reasonable and i say beverly hills polo club there so really nice little item you know a bit of a higher value item not mega high value but a little bit higher value um and yeah I will get them listed because I really enjoy li listing these as well. Um, yeah, I'm getting into watches a little bit, not like the higher end watches, but uh, just the you know the maybe uh, I've, I've I've got a like a cartoon watch on, like a Warner Bros cartoon watch on. Uh, I sold that uh, Swatch watch. I've got I think I've got another watch on as well, but I can't quite remember what it was. Um, but I do like picking them up. I think they're cool. I think they're cool to deal with and stuff. So anyway, that's those. Um, I got this TARDIS now. Let me see here. Now this is a good bit of information. That little St John's ambulance thing here. I think it says yeah, St John's ambulance. You won't be able to see it very well on this camera, um, but it's a little St John's ambulance. That basically signifies that this is the Eleventh um, Doctor's TARDIS, Matt Smith. Um, I know that because I really love Doctor Who. If you open it up, oh wait, is that light? Come on. Oh wait, sorry, it's turned off. It would help if I turned it on. There. We pretty cool, isn't it? And now you, I just have to get right in. It's really hard to close it, you know, with long fingers. Um, and then if you like, sort of sway it around. Well, it's. I think it's meant to do noises when you sway it around it did before but when i was in the shop testing it um it did before but anyway as you can see it lights up all that sort of stuff um probably only get about 12 pound or 13 pound without figures uh, i paid two pound 49 for it if i um basically wait and try maybe this car boot season try and get some figures or whatever um, i might be able to do a nice bigger bundle maybe 20 25 pounds something like that um but yeah quite a cool item well worth looking out for um and you know you can you can get some more like money back in a, in a bundle with some figures if you are selling this with figures i would advise to sell it with amy and rory and the doctor um because that's sort of that era uh, you could probably sell it with like david tennant's doctor and rose or um or uh, martha or donna but i, I think you know the the more the people who know that more about Doctor Who are probably going to just blush over it if you do, where because they'll want the actual proper figures with it. Um, but it's more than likely just going to be a family buying it anyway, not really a collector unless it's like in box or something, you know, all nice sealed, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, you never know. Collector might buy it. But yeah, that's that anyway. Um, oh yeah, this was really good. I forgot about this. It was only a few hours ago, and I've already forgotten about it. 50p for this Resident Evil Survivor because the woman thought it was a CD again, so she gave it me for 50p. That happened last week. Um, and, yeah, so that 
I think that goes for about 15. I did do a quick bit of research. I think it goes for about 15 anyway. Um, so yeah, 50p into 15 quid. Can't complain with that. Uh, nice little, nice little pick, pick up there. Manual is in there. Disc is great. It's got a little bit of dust marks on, but you know, a little blow off and a little bit of a, a rub, and it'll be fine. So yeah, no actual scratches that I could see though. So that's good. Um, so that's that. What else? I think there's. I think we've only got these these wallpapers. I mean, I've had a pretty good day, haven't I, in the charity shop? We've really got a fair few items, to be honest. Um, I took, I, I, well, I wouldn't say a punt, but I, 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 I sort of made myself do this as a little bit of an experiment. I paid £1.40 a roll, and they're not um, Laura Rashley or anything. They're just this standard art house, vintage, but they are all, importantly... Where is it? The same batch number, and I don't know how good that's going to show up, but there is the actual batch number. It's A8, the batch number, and I've got 13 rolls on my bed here. 13 rolls, £1.49 a roll, uh, same batch number, and my plan with these is to basically sell them um, in like lots, so like maybe five or six is something like that. Enough to maybe do a room, maybe a bit more than that to do, you know, to do a room. Um, and I don't really know on price, but I'm hoping that maybe if I sold maybe uh, two lots of six or something, or maybe, I don't really want to do one lot of seven and one lot of six, but I don't know what I'd do with the last roll if I did two lots of sixes. Um, but basically, I've got like nine pound in them, and then if I got like uh, five pound a roll because that's going low five pound a roll would be pretty low because I've seen uh, Other like art house wallpaper achieve like seven eight pound a roll um, But in a bundle five pound a roll six rolls nine pound cost to me plus postage obviously so um, Six rolls five pound five pound a roll thirty pound plus my postage nine pound cost to me and I don't really know whether that's achievable as I say it was a complete experiment but I'm not really comfortable in wallpaper. That just sounds weird. That just sounds really weird, but I'm not really comfortable in this niche, and I want to be able to say, oh, that's such and such wallpaper, and it goes for X amount of roll and stuff like that. So, you know, I may have spent a bit of money, and I might not get the best amount of profit on it. I really don't know. But it, again, it's one of them things just to sort of throw myself into. I don't want to just be looking out for Laura Ashley wallpaper all the time because I see so much of this stuff, you know, the art house and the, I mean, it's opera, the other one, opera wallpaper. But yeah, anyway, I've got a load of rolls of that all there. A load of rolls. I'll pick up a few for you. A load of rolls, anyway. Yeah, so that's all that. I think, I think that's it. Wallpaper, Dawn, Resident Evil, Dawn. Yeah, that, done that. Done that. Yeah. Yeah, we're done. We're done, guys. So I will just have a quick look in the chat and have a bit of a chat with the people because I've not really looked in the chat. Art House are very nice. I've seen some simple designs of... Um, of uh, theirs go for between 10 to 20 pound mate oh good good I've, I've not done bad then not done too bad depends on the weight of the bundles really yeah i i, I mean uh, that's chris gops in the chat geordie reseller go and check out his channel as well because he's doing videos again now which is awesome um yeah uh, i i would say yeah i'm thinking like i don't know it's maybe one one you know one roll about a kilogram Probably something like that. So five rolls would probably just fall into the bracket of like five to ten kilograms of Hermes if I was going with Hermes. Um, and that would be £7.95. So if I was doing maybe uh, six rolls for 30 quid, it's whether someone would want to pay an extra eight quid on top of that uh, postage. But still, I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll look at that later on. Uh, I'm going to try and list them today. I'm going to try and get all of this listed today if I can. Um, and, yeah, we'll see. I might do smaller batches. I might do larger batches. I'm really not sure. But that was the way I was sort of thinking it because I was thinking if, um, you know, if someone's buying, like, enough to do a room, then they would maybe pay that little bit extra for postage or whatever it is uh, or maybe just pay a little bit more because, 
Um, you know, if you can get it all in one. And with them all being the same batch number as well, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I try to get under five kilogram bundle if possible to maximize profit. Yeah, so I could do, I could maybe fit, I think I could maybe fit five. Depending, I'm just thinking, I don't know whether they're a kilogram each. I don't know. Um, but if I could, if I could fit five, then that'd be a nice size bundle. And it, just if they go under that five kilograms, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but I'd have to box them up as well, so I don't know. Maybe four. Maybe yeah. Maybe four would be better. Maybe four. Yeah, four. I don't know why I'm spending so much time talking to this, uh, talking to you guys about this, but I'll do it in a bit. But um, four. Uh, Five pound a roll ish, or maybe six pound a roll if I can achieve that, or however much I can achieve. Um, then I could only, then I could charge a bit less for postage, and it wouldn't be too bad. Um, is there a match on them? A match? A match? What do you mean by a match? Oh, a pattern match. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a pattern match. 53 over 26.5. Yeah, 50, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all 53 over 26.5, so that's cool. If that's what you mean, the pattern match. 53 over 26.5, it says anyway. Pattern match, yeah. So that's that. Um, yeah. Cool, so we are all pattern matched as well, whatever that means. I don't know. See what I mean? This is what I love. When you pick up new stuff, it really opens your eyes to uh, to, to basically these new niches and things that you, you can then explore even further. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I think there's some money in them, how much it depends. Um, but, yeah, I'll just quickly go through the chat, as I said, um, and just see. Um, Oh, Chris said earlier on, I'd do four, four, and five. Yeah, I think if, doing the five, if I box them up, it might um, it might just go over five kilograms. But the two fours, I think they would they would be in the two to five range, even when I box them up. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, Thirty pound is reasonable. Would make a nice anniversary gift for someone. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> didn't think of it like that. You, you're really thinking outside the box there, Darren. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Um okay, so that means between each drop you have fifty three centimeter gap of waste to cut off. Oh, I don't know. Um intros and wallpaper. Is there no end to your talents, Chris? <laughs> um yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to look into this further. I haven't a clue what this 53 centimetres thing. Each roll usually gives you four drops per roll. Oh, like four drops. Like, as in going down the wall. I get it. I get it, right. Um, I'm going to have to message you or something, Chris, and learn about this, because this, so, uh, this is so intense. I didn't know there was so much to it. Um, Four drops to a roll, Linda says. Um, but yeah, anyway, 34 watching. Oh my God, I'm hoping one person joins. I'm so hoping one person joins to get this up to like record heights. Um, anyway, any questions in the chat just before I go? Because we've been going on like half an hour now. Um, so yeah, any questions in the chat before I go? Um, uh, yeah, about the haul or about anything else of that matter. Oh, the other, oh, I did have a, oh, where's my sheet gone? Bloody hell. Right, I do have a little sheet to go through. Um, I need a Thursday, I've got, I've got it wrote down there in big letters, so I'll remember. Um, Thursday Talks topic. Last week on Thursday Talks, or this week on Thursday Talks, I forgot to um, ask you guys for a topic. Um, so yeah, anyone in the chat, any random person, whack in a topic to the chat for next week's Thursday Talks episode. Try and make it quite general so we have um, a lot to discuss, you know, in the episode. Um, so not too specific. Um, otherwise, we might sort of just trail too far off topic again. And you know what that's like for me. Um, and then also, I wanted to give you a quick update on the uh, on the reseller comedy short. 
Um, I know I left you all hanging last week and I didn't upload it on the Monday. That was because, um, well, I think I mentioned this in Thursday talk, so I'll just do a brief summary. Um, that was basically because I, um, or what am I trying to say now? I didn't like the quality of that last one and I ended up scrapping it actually. Well, not scrapping it, but I did keep the footage, but I just like sort of pushed it to one side and um, I've redone it. I've refilmed it yesterday. Uh, I've done all the filming. I've done most of the editing. Um, and yeah, it's taken quite a while. It took quite a lot of time out of yesterday. Um, hence why I'm trying to get back to more of the reselling stuff today. Um, and yeah, uh, I've, I've done that. I really like the look of it. I have included uh, a little bit of footage out of the first resell short I did. So I didn't scrap all the footage. Um, and yeah, it's looking really good. It's so funny, or well, at least I think it is. Just laughing, you know, on, on the level of just laughing at myself, I think it's funny. Um, and I think you guys are going to love it. And I promise that this week it is going to be uploaded on Monday. Um, I just need to, do, as I say, I just need to do a bit more editing today and tomorrow. And then I need to do the thumbnail. I want to get the thumbnail right. Um, and, and then it'll be up on Monday. And hopefully it'll give you some Monday morning motivation as well. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, really enjoyed doing it. Um, I, I just think it's so funny. I think it will help if you have, um, bit, you know, if you sort of know me uh, in terms of maybe you've been a long term viewer of my channel, maybe six months a year or right from the beginning. I think that will help uh, make it even more funnier if you like. So uh, maybe if you're new to the channel, you might not quite get it as much as maybe the older viewers or might not have a, a, as much of a laugh as the older viewers. But I know that some of you even in the chat here, like Chris, Darren, um, there's a few other long term. Uh, Chrissy has been following me for a while. Chelsea, you've been following me for a while. You guys will really get a laugh out of it. Um, and if people enjoy it in the general sense, as I, as I said in Thursday Talks, I'm going to do another one. Uh, and yeah, it'd be awesome. So, um, what was that topic there? And Isaac, uh, possible topic for Thursday, optimizing stock uh, space. It's causing me a bit of a headache at the moment. Right. Well, that's good because I've done videos on that in the past. Um, I've never really talked about it too much, but I've, I've, you know, I did that video where I sped up myself sorting out the um sorting out the or what were these shelves i forgot the word then sorting out the shelves in there so yeah we can talk about that one uh, i think we had a similar topic a few weeks back but i'll try and adapt it a little bit and talk about something you know slightly different wavelength something on a slightly different wavelength um but yeah it's definitely a good topic to discuss and i think people like discussing about it because there's always new ways you can learn about um you know stock storage and stuff and uh, i think i talked about a few weeks ago about um like number a number system on your listings or a number system on your shelves and i think that is really good um ads keep going you have more viewers hey 35 it slipped up to 35 then that is a record for any live show i've done so we're breaking records here um yeah, so I will leave it. Um, 38, oh, I forgot. Oh, 38, wow, that's cool. Um, 37, 38, yeah, 38. I, oh, that is so cool. Right, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, and if you have any comments about this haul, please leave them back down below, or any questions or anything like that, um, you know, if you're watching this uh, after the live show. Um, and, yeah, I will see you in the next one, guys. So, um, yeah, I will see you in the comedy show on monday so hope you enjoy it and i'll see you soon and now we have that awkward little thing where we try and get to the old uh stop broadcast button bye guys